The eggs arrive in bulk, stacked neatly in trays. Each tray holds hundreds of fertilized eggs, and they've just completed a carefully monitored trip from breeder farms. The moment they enter the hatchery, they're no longer just eggs. They're future chicks on a strict, time-sensitive journey. The trays move through reception under close watch. Workers and automated systems check for cracks, deformities, and any handling issues during transport. From here, everything is timed down to the hour. Visuals. Wide shots of trays entering the facility, slow motion eggs being loaded. Once inside, the eggs are stored briefly in climate controlled rooms. This holding area maintains a precise temperature, typically around 20 degrees or 68 degrees, to keep the embryos dormant until incubation begins. Nothing develops until the hatchery is ready. The eggs are loaded into large incubator trays, plastic racks designed to fit seamlessly into the setter machines. Every tray is barcoded or tagged. This allows hatchery managers to track each batch from intake to hatch day. These trays move into the setters, massive machines that can hold up to 130,000 eggs each. Inside, heat, humidity, and airflow are tightly controlled. The temperature is held at 37.5 degrees CC, and the eggs are turned automatically every hour to mimic the natural movement under a brooding hen. The eggs will spend 18 days in the setter. During that time, staff don't open the doors unless necessary. Instead, the environment is monitored digitally. Sensors feed back real-time data on temperature, humidity, and air quality to a central system. Adjustments are made instantly if anything strays outside set limits. Visuals, close-ups of screen dashboards, slow pans of rows of setters, technicians walking between machines. On day 18, the eggs are ready to move to the hatcher. Workers or robotic arms carefully transfer the trays into special hatching baskets. These baskets are placed in a different machine, the hatcher, which has slightly different settings, more humidity, no turning, and slightly lower ventilation. From here, it's a waiting game. Over the next three days, the chicks begin to emerge. One by one, they pip through the shell. Hatcheries aim for a tight hatch window, so the majority of chicks come out within a 12 to 24 hour period. This helps ensure they're all strong, alert, and ready to move. Once hatched, they remain in the basket for a few hours to dry off. Then they're transported, gently and in large numbers, onto the chick processing line. Music break. First, chicks are separated from eggshells. Machines lift the fluff-covered chicks away from debris, then direct them to a sorter. Technicians perform visual checks, removing any weak or abnormal chicks. These are handled in accordance with strict animal welfare protocols. Some hatcheries sort chicks by sex at this stage, using either feather pattern differences or vent checks performed by trained professionals. In broiler operations, this may be skipped since males and females grow out together. But for layers, identifying the sex is critical. Vaccination comes next. Most hatcheries use a spray cabinet where chicks receive a fine mist of respiratory vaccine. In some cases, injections are given under the skin manually or with semi-automatic equipment. The goal is to protect chicks from diseases like Marix or infectious bronchitis before they ever leave the hatchery. Visuals, slow zoom on vaccine misting cabinet, careful hands vaccinating chicks, chicks moving smoothly along the line, once processed, the chicks are counted and placed into cardboard transport boxes, usually 100 per box. Automatic counters ensure accuracy. Each box is labeled with batch information and placed onto ventilated trolleys. The final step, dispatch. Chicks are loaded into trucks that maintain warm, oxygen-rich conditions. The journey to the grow-out farm typically takes less than 24 hours. No food or water is needed during this time because chicks rely on yolk sac nutrients absorbed just before hatch. Throughout the hatchery, strict biosecurity measures are in place. Workers wear protective clothing, pass through disinfection stations, and follow movement restrictions. Air pressure zones separate clean and dirty areas, and all equipment is sanitized regularly. This is the heartbeat of poultry production. Behind every chicken on the dinner table is a facility like this. Quiet, clean, efficient, and built for precision. Thanks for watching Next Harvest Network, where we take you behind the scenes of the world's real food systems. Like, share, and subscribe for more honest stories from the front lines of agriculture. See you next time.